everything you're about to see is true. The mayor, the school teacher, the reverend, the kid from Poland, the crazy cow milking machine, and the panic that ensued when a man named Orson Welles came on the radio and said that Martians had landed in New Jersey. Everything you're about to see is true. early, Mr. Mayor. Oh. <gasps> well, wait a second. My last two chewy candies, I was looking for those. We'd give you a lift back into town, but Myrna here's got the croup. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Well, I could use the walk. Gives me time to think. Well, there's plenty of time for that around here. Oh, yes. You know, if I take the back way, I... Okay. Bye-bye now. Already. Oh, who can sleep? Did you get the papers? Uh, Paul Davison, Lullaby's principal landowner and dairy farm proprietor. Skip to the end. Despite a few objections to the rodal actor, including Mayor Clark Hill. Due to Mr. Davison's foresight and persistence, the milk business in Lullaby might not go sour. <laughs> well, now what's this? Something for your foresight and persistence. Oh, what a gal. Wow. I love it. I've always wanted a toy statue of the Empire State Building. Oh, say, hon, do me a favor and shine my shoes for me, will you? Okay. You. You're the tops. And breakfast. No time. Gotta go. Please take Ziggy with you. I'm not his babysitter. No, you're his cousin. Second cousin, once removed. And I kind of wish he was removed from our house. He's family, Anne, and he's only been with us a week, so please be nice. Come on, Ziggy. Ziggy, let's go. You're like molasses. <laughs> he's from Poland. He doesn't speak English. Ziggy, let's go. You're like Polish molasses. Sorry I'm late again, gang. Guess it's time for that new alarm clock. Let's jump right in with... I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Start with that one. Maybe another one. Any requests? Tomorrow is Halloween. 
Do you know what that means? No. It means that for one night, you can let go of your inhibitions and become someone completely different. Mm -hmm. What are inhibitions? Well, they're, they're things that hold you back. From what? Charlie Edwards, you scared us to death. Peg, I'm gonna remember that look on your face forever. That was hilarious. I was hoping you'd stop by. You must be a mind reader. Well, I must be. You know why? Because mm -mm. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> oh, stop it, Charlie. The kids are right there. Well, they're gonna have to learn about love sooner or later. Oh. Peg, I love you so much. I could explain. Germans got the whole world on pins and needles. Crazier than a rat in a tin can. A yeah, rat in a tin can with tanks and guns. Coffee, Mr. Mayor? Thank you very much. Nothing like a piping hot cup of Pepper's famous motor oil. Huh? Here come the Rockefellers. Hey, Sheriff. Mr. Davis. Hello, Clark. Hurry. Morning. How are things? Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, busy, how are you? A big, big day for Paul. Oh, it sure is, thank you. Oh, you're still reading Gone with the Wind. You've been at that for a couple weeks. Oh, I'm such a slow reader, but thank you for the recommendation. Oh, sure, sure. Such a beautiful love story. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. I, I, I would always find myself um, rereading that section where... Clark! Is... Paul. Say, were you able to get that sign painted, chosen as the home of the Rotolactor? Uh, I, I, I thought it was just home of the Rotolactor. Oh, it's got to say chosen as. That's important. Okay, then. Okay, okay. And the uh, tablecloths and apple cider, all set? Yep, that's next to my list. Right. Next to my list. Because this isn't some barbecue or manure stacking contest. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've planned a, a, a yeah. manure stacking contest. Clark, <clears throat> listen, I know we've had our differences about this. And you're worried, first it's a cow milking machine, next a factory and a train station pop up. And before you know it, we're a metropolis. <laughs> but trust me, pal. Change only comes when you take bold leaps forward. You ought to write that in your little diary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really want me? Oh, okay. Yep. Change only comes. Yes. I, I got it. I got it. I take you. bold I got leaps. It. I, got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Good. Oh, well, you should welcome advice about taking charge, Clark. Yeah, sure. I mean, you're the mayor. It's in the job description. Thank you for your help, Clark. Good seeing you. More coffee, Mr. Mayor? Uh, Reverend Rogers. Helen and I couldn't find you after mass last week. You left so quickly. I wanted to talk about my brother Joe's passing. Oh. Um, have you learned anything from this time of trial, Stan? Oh, you bet. When a cow kicks you in the leg, it don't feel like much. But if she nails you just right in the head, boy, you're done for. Very spiritual. No, tell them about the passage you found. Oh, yeah. They are plans for peace and not disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Exodus chapter 8. It's one of my favorites. Uh, no, it's from Jeremiah chapter 29. Huh. I always get those two confused. Well, I'll keep your brother Jonathan in my prayers. Uh, my brother was Joe. I'll pray for them both. Come on, we're 
Dogs. Letting dogs out here. Maybe sauce? Don't move. Stay down. Hi, Peter. How you doing? Fine. Hey, lovebirds, shut the hell up. You want them to hear us? Look, my folks said that when Collins came back from the war, he was all messed up. Maybe he blew away a thousand krauts, blasting their brains out. Who knows what he does in there all day? Here, throw it. Why is it warm? Is this pee? Ew, gross. Is it true that Ziggy's an imbecile in the head because he never talks? You're an imbecile. He's Polish. Our family sent him here because of Hitler. Ever listen to the radio? Okay, here we go. If he comes out, don't look him in the eyes. Just keep moving. Oh. Yeah. These last few years haven't been easy. But today, we look ahead at brighter days to come. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present the Rotolactor. And then I'll say uh, something like, uh, this is a modern marvel, how it can milk 15 cows at once. Oh, and Clark, this is where you're going to leave the cows in. Mm, you okay. Then I'm going to tug on the heartstrings a little bit. Our fields are drying up. You're working your fingers to the bone, barely getting by. Events in Europe are drawing us ever closer to an inevitable world war. I say change only comes when you take bold leaps forward. Well, that's it. Now, what do you say we, we fire this up? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All these buttons, yeah, designed and built in Florida. I think it's the future. And dairy farms. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're going to look great tomorrow. <laughs> you are a wonderful Abraham Lincoln. And you are the spitting image of Betty Davis. Oh, Greta Garbo. Oh. <laughs> you fix it. You always do. You'll make it better. I don't deserve you. You're the most beautiful girl in town. You know that? In all New Jersey.
broadcasting system and its affiliated stations present Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater on the air in the War of the Worlds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt our program of dance music to bring you a special bulletin from the Intercontinental Radio News. It is reported that at 8.50 p.m., a huge flaming object, believed to be a meteorite, fell on a farm in the neighborhood of Grover's Mill, New Jersey. The Government Meteorological Bureau has requested the large observatories to keep a watch on any further disturbances occurring on the planet Mars. We'll return you until then to the music of Ramon Raquello and his orchestra. Then you're quite convinced as a scientist that living intelligence as we know it does not exist on Mars. How far is Mars from here? We take you now to Global Mill, New Jersey. Hello? Wait, what? You have to slow down. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it on. Okay, okay, okay. I guess that's it. Yes, I guess that's the thing directly in front of me. I can see the object itself doesn't look very much like a meteor. It looks more like a cylinder. What's the thing? Friction with the Earth's atmosphere usually tears holes in a meteorite. This thing is smooth and the uh, metal casing is definitely extraterrestrial. Uh, not found on this Earth. What? You can see it's uh, just a minute. Nothing's happening. Look, heavens. Something wriggling out of the shadow like a gray snake. Eyes are black and they gleam like a serpent. The mouth is that's kind of V-shaped with saliva dripping from its rimless lips. It seems to you hold on with you, please. I'll be right back in a minute. We are bringing you an eyewitness account of what's happening on the Wilmoth Farm, Grover's Mill, New Jersey. Wait a minute, something's happening. Ah! Oh, the whole by the woods, the bars, the, the gas tanks, tanks of the automobiles spreading everywhere. It's coming this way now, about 20 yards to my right. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to continue the broadcast from Grover's Mill. At least 40 people lie dead in the field east of the river to the mill. Their bodies burned and distorted beyond all possible recognition. I have been requested by the governor of New Jersey to place the county to the Jacksburg under martial law. Of the creatures in the rocket cylinder, I can give you no authoritative information to their purposes here on Earth. Of their destructive instrument, I shall refer to the weapon as a heat ray. Operator, yes. Yes, this is Clark Hill from Lullaby. Hello? Hello? Martian cylinders are falling all over the country. One outside of Buffalo, St. Louis. The monster is now in control of the middle section of New Jersey. It has effectively cut the state to its center. Citizens of the nation, I wish to impress upon you the urgent need of calm and resourceful action. You have just heard the Secretary of the Interior speaking to Washington. Dad! Are we leaving? Mom, you can't just sit there. I informed that the central portion of New Jersey is blacked out from radio communication due to the effect of the heat ray upon power lines and electrical equipment. Here's a special bullet. Jordy, what's happening? Uh, I'll take care of it. I'll, 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 uh, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, uh... Jordy! Oh, I hit my head. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Peg, are you okay? Yes. Damn it. Standing on legs. Damn it. Actually rearing up Bob, on the how much more do you need to hear? We're I'm under attack. You have to get up. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a grave announcement to make. Those strange beings who landed in the Jersey farmland tonight are the vanguard of an invading army from the planet Mars. Everybody! Oh! Mom, Dad's starting the car. We have to go. 
I couldn't reach my daughter in Boston. They must have wiped out Boston. They might have wiped out the whole damn country. Of course, they're coming for us. We've got the fourth tallest water tower in three counties. Oh, please, please, please. All right, hold on. The radio said that they landed in Grover's Mill. That's only a few hours from here, isn't it? When Sheriff Dandy gets here, he will have definitive answers. I promise. Can anybody tell me what the fuck is going on? OK. <laughs> Everybody finished? Finish screaming and yelling? You want to act like a bunch of goddamn fools? Well, that'll make it nice and easy for them when they get here, won't it? You'll be standing around with your tits in the wind, and those bastards will float on over, burn you alive right where you're standing. You'll be dead. Then you'll be dead. Then you! That what you want? You're a crazy old man, Collins. Crazy? Crazy world, Shorty. Believe you me, I've seen it. I've seen things make you shit a green carrot. You want to get in your cars and die on the road, hide under a rug and die like an animal? Go right ahead. Seems like a fitting end to this town. You've all been dead for years. You just never knew it. I'm gonna fight those bastards when they come. Martian fire rays don't scare me. Giving up. That's what scares me. Hem and haw here all you want. Every minute they get closer. Or follow me. Up to you. Uh, thank you. Well, Mr. Uh, <coughs> Collins has weighed in with his proposal and, uh... Someone's finally making some damn sense. Get anything that can be used as a weapon. We need supplies. I'll send word about a base camp. Move out! They landed in Grover's Mill at 8.50, Basking Ridge around 9. With air ready speed, I'd say we got to be ready for them at 04.30. That's roughly five hours from now. Make sense? Oh, yeah. How are we supposed to be ready for this? We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. We need to find a clearing to anchor our defense, set up some work lights, a roadblock to slow them down, ignite some spot fires, a barricade, make it look like all hell broke loose. Then pray till the boys stationed at Fort Dix arrive. The boys at Fort Dix? Wait, with the army? No, Clark, the Girl Scouts. Pulled the same maneuver with the 93rd Infantry in 18. Knocked a shitload of crowds right out of their later hosing. Wait a minute. Whose property is this? That's Widow Johnson's place. Not anymore. Helen, what are you doing here? Where's Stan? In a shed, behind the house, hiding under a sack of grain. Why is this happening? I don't know. I, the I, Bible I, says I, nothing of life on Mars, does it? I don't, I don't know. Is God sending the Martians to kill us? Are they coming because God told them to? If God loves us, why would he do- well, I don't know, maybe God doesn't love us. Maybe God is just a mean, cruel son of a bitch. I have no goddamn answers, you get it? I have no answers! The hell do you want from me? Your help. <sighs> and this is what I get.
You all right, Lorraine? Hey, hey, Lorraine, the thing is, we need everyone's help, so could you tell Paul that we're going to set up... Paul? Yeah, yeah, where is he? Uh, we, we need him to find the... Um... Yeah, Paul's here. He's inside. Okay, uh, here's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna set up base camp at Widow Johnson's place. All right, and, and the kids are gonna the kids are gonna um, go to the schoolhouse. They boarded it up, so it's a pretty safe spot. Please turn around. Please walk away. Please leave me alone. I, I don't know if you've if you've heard Lorraine, but there's m m Martians. I don't care. Now get. Get them in here. We've been waiting for you. Don't leave us here. Please. Honey, I need you to be brave for me, okay? I'm scared, Mama. You'll be safe here. I promise. I mean, I'm scared for you. something to do and do it! down that cornfield by Summit Road. Camp. Get them to our rise in the observation post. Tell them to keep them field north. What the hell is this? Don't know. It was in the pile. Who the hell brought this? Oh, okay. Good. I did. It, 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 uh, it came to a, a, a point at the top, and I thought it, I thought it might be useful. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I got nervous and I just grabbed what I could. 
You all find something funny, goddammit? Think it's a time for souvenirs? This is life or death. Now look sharp. Look sharp. Look sharp. Look sharp. Look sharp. Look sharp. Shut look the sharp. hell up. <clears throat> and you. I expect better from you tonight, Mayor. From all of you. Understood? Now get to work. Okay. You heard him? Come on! Somebody help these ladies. They can't move all this by themselves. Come on, you heard the man! Pig. Here you are. What are you doing? Helping out. Captain Collins says the barricade's the first defensive obstruction. But the ladies are organizing tools and preparing food. I know, but they need more hands over here. Where have you been? We should head to the ocean. We'll be safer there, so come on, let's go. Charlie, there's a lot of work to do. Stay and fight? That's insane. This is our home. We can't just leave. Hey, please. Edwards. Leave the girl alone. Oh, Sparky, close your trap. Uh, I'll come over there, and I'll... Uh, and what? And close it for you with these two fellas, right here. Okay, everybody simmer down. I'm staying. Well... Fine. Then I'm staying, too. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad, too. You're my fiancé now. Don't forget. I won't. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on the farm he had a... Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, what did he have on the farm? I don't want to play your stupid game! We're all gonna burn alive! Come on, you two. And you over there. Get over here. Let's go. Hello. Oh, hello. Good to see you there. Clark, earlier tonight on the porch, when I raised my voice and... Threw a plan at my head. Yes. Well, um, that behavior is not like me. It was inappropriate, and I apologize. There's no need to. It was here the moment. <laughs> right. Paul's gone. But to answer your question, yeah, from I know before, he drove off without us. I don't think he's coming back. Well, I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of explanation. <laughs> There is. Dearest Paul, however long it takes, we'll wait for you. Margaret, who's Margaret? I don't know. Yours is certainly troublesome. How about however long it takes, I'll wait for you? What the hell does that mean? Uh... I think it means whatever the time frame she'll be waiting for. Well, yes! Yeah, yeah. The fact is, it could mean a bunch of different things, really. Or it could mean that sometimes you think you know someone, but the truth is you really don't. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you. Hey, Lorraine. Um, I, <laughs> I could use some help here if you wanted to give me a hand. It's, uh... Okay. I have no idea. They gave me a... They told me quickly, and I, but I got confused. There's... I thought there was a... Maybe
orders that took over Widow Johnson's place. And get this, old man Collins is in charge. Jeez Louise. Excuse me. Uh, Ziggy's got to go to the bathroom. Yeah, there's a bucket in the corner for that. The thing is, he's got to go number two. And believe me, when he goes number two, it's like a number four. Where'd you... You stole this? From in there? Good thinking. Come on. Let's go find Mom. Hello. Cigarette bag? I don't smoke. Start. No, I think those things are dangerous. It could be your last pack. Are you sure you want to give it away? There's plenty more where that came from. I bet. The Lord. A long time since I've asked anything of you. A long time. If you're listening, how about you give me a sign? Any kind of sign. Oh, the, the crickets. Is that? Is that the sign? The crickets? I... I... Just, just give me a sign if the crickets are the sign. No? Okay. All right, then I'm done with you, too. You, you, yeah? Darn. through their windows. Mm. Oh. A lot of weakness were made strong, wax valiant, and fight. Turn to flight the armies of the aliens. Helen, it's Ray! Go away, Reverend. No, Helen, listen to me very carefully. It, it all makes perfect sense now. Yes, yes, they're coming because God told them to. But no, it is not to kill us. It's, it's to save us. Reverend Ray is here. I ain't gonna go out there and get killed by them things and I'll stop anyone who try to make me. Honey, listen to what Reverend Ray has to say. Oh, uh, listen, nothing. Get out of here. No, get out of no, here. No, you can lie here, Stan, under that sack of grain, your heart filled with nothing but doubt and fear. It's all in here, Stan. The invasion, everything. No, not true. Not true. But you remember what you told me this morning? No, really, that was like 10 hours ago and a whole lot of shit's gone down since then. You said there are plans for peace and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. And that's what tonight is. His plan. He's right, Stan. Howdy, Stan. Looking good, Stan. Stop saying my name. I know what you're trying to do. It's all true, Stan. If you join us, you will not die tonight. I promise you this. And I promise you this. If you don't come, 
I'll stay too. these things off me. Remove the grain. Remove the grain. Remove the grain. Remove, Remove the grain. The grain. Uh, yeah. gas floating in the air. It's coming from the north. There's what? Poison gas coming from the north. Oh no, they're already dead. Hello? No, 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 no. We're still here. Get wet rags and towels. Wrap them around your nose and your mouth, okay? Good luck. What is he talking about? Poison gas. Pig! Hey, anybody seen pig? Pig cricket? You guys seen pig? Oh. All right. There you go. More. Okay. All right. Enjoy. Drawer stew, Clark. Oh, thank, thank you, you Mr. Colley. <laughs> you want the rest of mine? Oh, no, I'm fine. I, I had my fill. Thank you very much. I saw you. You didn't get any. There's something right there. Mmm, delicious. Oh, Clark's famous notebook. Oh, famous. <laughs> wow. No, it's just to do list and stuff I gotta get done, other stuff. Like paint the roto actor sign. Don't you mean chosen as? Yeah. Oh, I changed it. You know what you should put? Dairy go round. It'll work eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Not milking cows since 1930. <laughs> hey, what's that? It looks like a poem. Oh, no, it's a poem. No, no, it's, uh, it's nothing. I'm sorry, I, I, I got a lot on my mind and we're behind schedule and I don't want to waste time talking about this kind of stuff. Sorry. You see? It is something. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Come on. No. Oh, come oh. on. Oh, what Please. is it? Nothing. Oh, what's the what, big it, deal? There's songs, okay? Uh, 
It's songs. Songs you wrote? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's songs I wrote, yeah. Well, you see, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hmm. I'm just trying to get to know you better, Clark. I appreciate it. And forget that. this, too. Maybe Troubadours you're calling. <laughs> okay. Can I hear one? What, what, what do you want? <laughs> what, you want me to break out into song right here? Well, if not now, when? Hey, how about this? You sing one no, of your songs. how song about this? You don't ask me about my songs, and I don't ask why you've been with a man or ran off to another woman tonight. No, you're right. It's none of my business. Here. I'm sure that's on your list. Get the bowls back. Hey, Lorraine, wait. I'm going to get the kids, so leave me alone. Lorraine, I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I thought we were friends. We are friends. Well, then why would you say that to me? I'm going to get Ann and Ziggy. If, if you're coming, fine. If not, I'll see you when I see you. Peg, I need a word with you. I'm eating, Charlie. You're going to have to wait. No, I think this is more important than you eating. Please, follow me. What clothes are those? I, look, um, Peg, I've been doing a lot of thinking about us, and I'm sure you have as well, and, um... The thing is, this might be our last... The, this could be it for us tonight. You know, life-wise. Uh, therefore, I'm going to get right to it. Um, I think we ought to get married. Tonight? Right now. The sooner the better. That way, when these things, they fly over the hill, and then if they fry us, we'll be fried together as husband and wife, you and me, just like we planned. Charity. Something's going on tonight that's bigger than you and me. You understand? I understand that since you whacked your head, you've been acting like a lunatic, and you better stop. Right friggin' now. We've had some good times together. We sure have. The potato sack races at Yoakum Pond, and that time we rescued that raccoon that time. It's time that we go our separate ways. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're going to do what I say because that's the way it's supposed to be. So we're going to get married. Let go. I saw you with Sparky. You're f fooling around. Why would you do that? Because I wanted to. Why? Because I had to. All I ever did was open my heart for you so wide that you could crawl right in. I will do anything for you. I'll, 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 I will. I'll, I'll, I'll. We have been living in darkness, but the light has been right in front of me, just waiting to shine. The clouds have been lifted from my eyes. They hovered and dashed, zigzagged and darted across the heavens above. Sing it, Reverend. My eyes have opened, and all I see is truth. Beautiful, glorious, truthful truth. Can you see the truth, Brother Stan? Yes, I see it. I see it. Amen. Tonight. It's not the end. No, 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 no. Tonight is just the beginning. We are not 
in the path of destruction. We are in the path of salvation. God, kingdom is coming to earth. God's messengers are on their way. God's army is somewhere in central New Jersey, and we will be the first to welcome them when they get here. Stay put, Ziggy. I mean it. I didn't mean to... Didn't mean to what? I was just trying to find out. Find out what? Nothing to find out here. There are no Martians. What did you say? I don't think there are any Martians coming. Why not? Well, I haven't seen any spaceships. Don't smell any poisonous gas or anything. Radio's not reporting anything else about the invasion, so... There are no Martians. At all. Are there? None that I'm aware of. Holy... Shit. But what happens when everybody finds out the truth? Everybody thinks they're gonna die. That ain't a bad thing, is it? That might be a good thing. Know what I mean? Guess so. You're too young to understand. One day you will. When you're closer to the end than the beginning. Fits. I knew it would. So what are we supposed to do now? Imagine you got one night to live. One night to do whatever's inside you. What would you do? I know what I would do. Now get the hell out of here! Look at this place. <sighs> what a mess. You don't have to do that. No, I want to. You love it here, don't you? I've never been anywhere else. No, I take that back. I went to Princeton once. Big trip to the big city. Princeton's not a big city. Manhattan. Now that's a big city. Oh, yeah. I've seen pictures of that place. You know, I went there a few months ago. You did? Yeah. Really? I left early to run some errands. And yeah. I don't know why, I just kept on going. Like something was pulling me along. Mm. And I spent the whole day walking. I must have walked down every street in Manhattan. 
I didn't want to leave. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> Clark! Whoa, 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 what, what, what? Oh, nothing. I... I thought I saw something. Uh, hey, uh, what, what, what were you saying? Oh, when I got back, yeah, Paul yeah. was sitting in the living room, and I was standing, staring at him, waiting for him to ask me where I'd been. How my day was, anything. Yeah. And then finally he just looked up and nodded and winked. He just looked right through me. <laughs> I never told anyone that before. <laughs> that's right. I know what that's like. To have a secret. Feel invisible. Hey, we better get going. No, no, it's Lorraine again. I'm here for Ann and Ziggy. Well, they ain't here. Where are they? They were here earlier. I left them here. What the heck was I supposed to do? The Polish kid had to poop real bad. before they kill us. Look, I know you got a plan, but we can't win this. We discussed this. I told you we'd be ready. I said, I know, I know. But we have no idea what's coming. We got no idea. And I said we'd burn that bridge when we get to This is the bridge. This is the bridge. They'll come. We fight. History mm -hmm. gets made. No, 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 Stand up or stand down. It's too late for protest. I mean, come on. You got a better idea, Clark? Yeah, about two miles up, we can hide. And if we hide... Maybe that's how you do things, Clark. Hide and hope for the best. But I look around and all I see are brave soldiers willing to lay down their lives for each other. You think they want to hide? We're not soldiers. We're farmers. We're housewives. I'm not a soldier. I'm not a soldier. No, Mac. You grow corn! God damn it! We've only got a few minutes until they get here. We don't have time for I'm this. I'm trying to right? get you more time. We need more time. Get rid of him! Get rid of him! Don't Come you on. touch him! Step aside, boy. No! He gives his whole life to this town. And you treat him like he doesn't exist. Now you want to what? What, beat him up? Why? Because he cares about this place? Because he doesn't want you all to die? You, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. I mean, what a bunch of ignorant, small-town assholes you've all turned out to be! Right? Right. Take them home. Let's come get them on, come on, come on! Think about it! Think about it! Get them! Get to your position! All right, let's go! They're right over the horizon! See, the thing I don't get is they probably got heat sensors. And if they got heat sensors, they're going to know there's living things down here. And if they do, Shh. then we're... 
What? I'm just saying that they will probably be able to... Do you see that? Should have kept your mouth shut, Clark, like you always do. So the letters are for... I'm going to mark everyone with charcoal to separate us from the non-believers. Helen, you'd be marked with an H. Sally would get an S. Well, hold the phone. Stan's S, too. To avoid confusion, Stan, you'd be marked with an X. X? Really? That's the cross him out letter. Don't worry, Stan. I'll think of something. How about a number? How about a nine? Sure. Nine is beautiful. Thanks, Reverend. I got a nine. See anything, Reverend? Well, you bet. I saw a bright orange light for just a second. What do you think they'll do when they come? Well, they'll take us. Take us away. Take us to someplace better. Say they don't take us. Instead of taking us to a better place, they just instead cook every last one of us. I just want to say this. We've been coming to you a good long time, Reverend. And it ain't hard to see that you're not the man you used to be. And it's a hard thing when folks want answers and maybe you don't have them. And who knows? Maybe there ain't any anyways. All I know is that you helped us tonight, Reverend. No, it's not me. It's them out there. No. It's not out there. It's you, Ray. You helped us live without fear tonight. You woke up something inside of us all. Thank you. You say it was a bright orange light? I saw it too. It's beautiful. They'll be here soon. This is it. It's 0430. This is what we've been waiting for. Hustle, hustle. Stay strong. Stay focused. Come on, you bastards.
Something's wrong. You should be here already. You should be here already. Where the hell are they? They know. They know we're waiting for them. They know about the ambush. They're watching us. Here go. They're getting messages. How? Signals. Because there's one of them among us. Jesus Christ, what is the problem? There's a spy. There's no goddamn spy. I saw something in the woods. Something fishy's going on here. We've been waiting here all night. You don't understand the gravity of the situation, Collins. Things have taken a change for the much, much worse. I do understand. No, you do not, because there is a spy right here in this town. When we got to stop the signals, because they're still getting... Data. No, that's fine. That's fine. Get some goddamn answers. Find that spying son of a bitch and get him to talk about his goddamn spying. Yeah. Peg, you've hurt me for the last time. <laughs> Come on. Let's find that boy. Come on. Come back here. Get the truck. Not you, Jimmy. Just Peter. How'd you get past the old lady? She's been asleep for an hour. Where have you been? Oh, you know, out and about. Out and about where? You know, you could have been killed out there. If it ain't Mr. President. kid ain't no goddamn spy. He's a Polak. He's a little boy. Look at him. This is what everything's been leading to? Going after some kid who can't protect himself? It's about making the most of whatever we got left. Now, when they get here, I want to... They're here! Give it all you got! This 
is our moment. Go! 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 The banks are overflowing. The fish are darn near jumping on my line. I'm gonna cast my reel the way the wind is blowing. Oh. And hope I catch the big one anytime. Since it, uh, it, it's sometimes growing up. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump ahead if that's alright. I'm just gonna jump ahead, okay? I told myself I'd wait for you forever But it's turning out much harder than I thought I could go on singing till I'm blue in the face This is my long, long, long story short So yeah, that's my song I like it. It needs some work. I know it does. But Lorraine, there's been something I've been wanting to tell you for a very long time, but if I don't tell you right now, I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my goddamn life. Even if that's only for the next six minutes. I can't believe it took this much craziness to pull this out of me, and I'm sorry that the timing is so inconvenient. But I got all these feelings. I got all these feelings, and I am sick. I am sick of keeping them bottled up. No more. Not tonight. Not ever again. I love you. I love you. And that's all there is to it.
from the Columbia Broadcasting System said, quote, We sincerely regret that some listeners mistook the program's fantastic elements for fact. End quote. Apparently, many citizens throughout the U.S., particularly in New Jersey, believed that they were facing imminent death. Quite a hoax, huh? Well, we assure you, you're very much alive. Sorry, I'm late again, everybody. You know, this book uh, says a great deal of righteous things and, and has the answer to many of life's questions. But you know what? It also says that no man with crushed testicles shall enter the assembly of the Lord. So it probably doesn't have all the answers. <laughs> so what do you say today? We just put the book away and we just talk. We really talk about whatever's on our minds. About facing our fears and looking for answers. Because who knows? Maybe there aren't any. Maybe we can all find a little peace in that. Yeah, you know, uh, <clears throat> it's been a long time since I felt those things. And I'll tell you, I feel them now, here, with all of you. Th and say, that reminds me, there is something I wanted to, uh, to talk about here. Well, look, um, <laughs> last night, sat down to read, of course. I uh, couldn't fall asleep, as I'm sure I'm not the only one. the car which is going to be back to normal soon everything's going to be just like it was exactly the same afternoon hello clark how are you me? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, some people were having uh, problems with their phones when the lines were crossed, and I, I, I was just checking to see if everything's set here. Yes, we're fine. Good. We were about to eat lunch. Could you step outside? Please? Now's not a good time. Please. Last night. It's a hoax. What? Well, everything that happened, none of it was real. Some of it was real. We thought there were Martians coming. Martians. You can blame that broadcast if you want, Lorraine, but if you stay with him, you know it's exactly Oh, what am I supposed to do? Leave my husband just like that? Yes, he left you. He went for help. That note, Lorraine, that note. That was help? He explained it. It wasn't what I thought. It was a misunderstanding. I know you're afraid. 
I understand that. But if I were you, I'd be more afraid of slinking back into your old life. That's what I'd be afraid of. He went for help. Hey, there he is. Clark, I don't know how to thank you enough for looking after Lorraine last night. When I went for help, my first thought was, if she gets herself in a pickle, Clark will lend a hand. So thank you, seriously. My pleasure. Well, come on inside. Lorraine made a pot roast. That's one way to start repaying your right. Oh, no, thank you. I, I have a lot on my plate, and I, I, um, I'm just, I was just checking in. We'll see you around then. Mm -hmm. Oh, shucks. You know what, Clark? I got to get back to this rotolactor mess. The uh, insurance company needs measurements and photographs, the whole ball of wax. So get a few men, a couple shovels, tape measure. Could be a few hours. Meet me there. However long it takes, I'll wait for you. OK. They're calling it the hoax that terrified a nation. <laughs> Says here about six million listening in. Whole lot of suckers. About a hundred of them right here in Lullaby, eh, Pepper? I sure fell for it. Didn't help goddamn Collins stirring everyone up. Ought to run him out of town for what he made happen around here. At least someone made something happen around here. I asked Paul to leave. He's packing now. But he packed last night, too, so it shouldn't take long. This isn't a hoax, too, is it? This is real, right? I need to know.
complain about the one I never caught. It's better to have a love than lost, I'm figuring out. Sometimes growing up's your last resort. Some time I might have bought. I could use some kind. 